let us see some examples of the function under math module. You can see I told you it is it includes the trigonometry as well as the logarithmic function as well as it also defines mathematical constants. Let's begin with the examples. This is the PyCharm ID. Let us create a new project, file new project. Click on create. Now we have created our project. Let us go for the first program. Press enter. Here it is. SQRT function. The SQRT function is basically used to return the square root of any number. Let us see how we can find it. So it's a part of math module. Let us first import math module. We can add an alias also using the as m. So now if you want to use the math, you can straight away write m directly. So I'll just directly print the square root of let's say 64 and right click and run here and you can see 8 in the same way we can add a square root of other values let's say I'll run it and here we are with the square root of the number added under the SQRT method in this way you can work around the SQRT function now let us go for the seal function So here it is a seal function in python okay it is basically used to round a number up to the next largest integer okay let's see an example so we will first import our math function import math and we will use an alias to add m here so that you don't need to use the word math again and again you can directly use m so i just want to find the seal okay so for that i'll directly use m dot seal and within that I'll add a value let's say I added a 5 dot 35 now I'll run it minus 5 dot 35 so it printed minus 5 let me do for plus 5.35 let's see what is visible 6 is visible that means rounding a number up to the next largest integer okay so let us add more examples uh, let's say I'll add uh, 96.95 and let's see what will be visible right click run 97 okay so it is returning the next largest integer so in this way you can work around the seal function in python let's move further we'll go to floor function here it is floor function at first i'll import and uh, add an alias using as now what does floor function do so it will return the value of a number rounded to the nearest integer so it will return the integer less than or equal to the given number okay now we will see an example okay so I'll directly print and use the m dot floor within that I'll add a value let's say I added the value minus 25.98 and I'll right click and run it here it is 26 is visible in the same way let me add for 25.98 let's see what is visible 25 is visible another example uh, let's say I went for 70.15 uh, now let's see what is visible right click run 70 so it returned the largest integer less than or equal to the given number okay that means 70.15 the output is 70 in this way the floor function works let us move to the next function that is POW function in Python. So it is basically used to return the value of x to the power of y. Okay. So let's see an example. At first import uh, math and add, uh, and add an alias. I added m for math. Okay. After that I will be finding the I will be using the m dot POW that is math module dot pow function to find 2 raised to the power 7 right click and run here and you can see 
2 raised to the power is 128. Let's tell find 4 raised to the power 3. It's 64. In this way, you can work around the POW function to return the value of x raised to the power y. Okay. Now I'll move towards FABS function. It is uh, basically used to get the return the absolute value of a number. Okay. So import the math module again and add an alias. After that, guys, what I'll do, I'll directly return I'll directly I'll directly return the absolute value. Okay, so why we have FABS here? Because it will return the absolute value of a number as a float. Okay, so herein I'll add let's say minus 30 45.89 right click run it returned the absolute value now let us add minus 98 it will print 98 and the resultant value is a float so we used f abs that is getting the absolute value of a number as a float using the f abs function now let us work around another example So here in what we'll do, we will be working around factorial function in Python. It is basically used to return the factorial of a number. So I'll directly, so I'll just import the math library with an alias m. I'll print the factorial m dot factorial m dot factorial. And let's say I want factorial for seven. Right click and run. Here it is five zero four zero. Now let's say I'll run uh, factorial for 0 is 1. Uh, the factorial of 1 is 1 and uh, factorial of uh, 3 is 6. So right click and run easily. You can see factorial of 7 is 5040, 0 is 1. Factorial of 1 is 1 and factorial of 3 is 6. In this way you can get the factorial of any number. Now let us work around some trigonometric examples. So herein we have the first, the first one we have here is sine. It is used to return the sine of a number. So for that I'll import the math lab, the math module and an alias. Now I'll print the sine. How using module dot math dot sine. So let's say I want in the bracket add the value for which you want the sine. Right click and run and here it is. Okay. So let's say you want the sign of degrees. For that you need to first convert it into radians using the radi using the radians method. So let's see that example also. So I just copied this. Now I told you we'll be using math dot oh sorry m dot because I use an alias m dot radians and within that I'll add values. So this will give you sine 30 degree. Right click run because we converted it. At first we converted it. Okay. So this is sine 30 which is 0. 499 that is sine value of 30 degrees in this way you can work around the sine function now let us work around the cos function in python which is used to return the cos of a number at first import the math module and we have also set an alias m use the module dot cos to get the value let's say cos 10 here is the value you can also get the you can also find the cos of degrees by just converting to math dot radians let's see within that you can add the degrees okay that is this is how you can find cos 30 degree because we use the radians method we have converted okay right click and run this will display the cos value of 30 degrees okay here it is in this way you can work around the cos function in python now work around the tan now we can work around the tan function 
at first import math module and set an alias the tan method is used to return the tangent of a number okay so I'll just print uh, use the math module and the tan method and I'll just print a value let's say let's say tan 45 okay so here we have found for tan 45 okay the following is here here it is if you want to find for 45 degrees let's say so what I'll do I'll show you another way for that I'll be using math dot radians and I'll add 45 in it right click run here you can see the value for tan 45 45 degree is the following okay that is one in this way you can work around the tan function now I also told you that I also told you we we can also work with log function logarithmic functions with the math module so here it is log function in python I'll first import and add an alias the log function is used to return the natural log of a number okay so I'll just directly print uh, let's say m dot log log value of let's say log 2 right click and run okay let us print log 1 value also right click and run this way you can get the natural logarithmic of a number using the log function in python